Flip man, flip man. It's the flip man. Flip man, flip man. You want some money in your hand? Flipping houses without credit or your cash. Get that bag. And we are live for episode number 16 of Comps 101. Jamil, Danjami, Dan, Danji, and myself are here to help you understand what makes a great real estate deal or not. Well, we're going to help you count properties, which is the start of it all. Show. What's going on, man? Man, I missed you guys. You know, this is a, this is a part of my Thursday my Thursday uh, routine. You know, I was on a boat, as we were talking about before we went live here. I was on a boat. Um, let's just say I don't belong on boats. <laughs> Oh boy, what the amount of money it would take for me to get on a boat. <laughs> Probably about 10 times what they paid me. <laughs> Ooh, that's what's up. So uh, tell them why we're here, man. Man, we're here to really dial it in on value, right? Uh, being a coach in this business, being in this business since 2002, which is a long time, right? It's, it's 2020. I've been doing this for 18 years. All this gray came from comping houses, <laughs> right? And so, legit, um, the thing that the thing that we always have to remember is that if we can understand value, we can understand this business because finding a deal um, means that you were actually able to relevantly comp it. And so, the reason we do this is so that you guys can get that skill, so that you can become proficient at it, do it quickly, um, know where to spend your time, and know where to keep walking. So that's it. So boom. So guys, make sure you like and share this. Like and share this. If we have 50 people watching, that means we should have 50 likes. Otherwise, why are you watching if you don't like it? Right. Sure. <laughs> right. So all right. So uh, we can go ahead and get one person text me earlier. And I told him to uh, join us on the show. So we're going to go right into his. Um, you ready to rock? Ready to go. Okay, uh, we have 20885 West View Avenue, Ferndale, Ferndale, Michigan. Can you see my screen, bro? Not yet. Mm. Man, I'm on a new rig, bro. This is a uh, this is a little tough. Okay, wait. It says it. It says you are. No, nothing. Not see nothing. Mm -mm. You see me? I see you. Oh, we see you. You see me. Um, all right. The well, bar, the barmaid is going to either be at the top or the bottom of your screen. If you hover either top or the bottom, it should appear. And then you'll, you know, you well, you know what to do. You just need to find it. How about that? Uh, not yet. Jeez. <sighs> Natalie. Help. <laughs> so frustrating, man. I, it's, I, it says I need to go into my system, my system preferences. Oh, oh, oh you just got a Mac? You got another Mac? Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. Thank you. Going your system. Let me put it up here on my end also. Maybe I can walk you through it. Well, he's gone. So while he's doing that, I'll go ahead and um, pull it up in uh, in prop string while until J Jamil comes back. Um, so what is it? Uh, see what was it? Uh, Two eight eight. Okay, there he is. Um, while you're figuring it out, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up in uh, prop string. Okay. And um, We'll go from there. So two eight, I mean two zero eight eight five Westview Avenue. Two zero eight five Westview Avenue, Ferndale, Michigan, Michigan. 
All right, all right. They've changed the platform a little bit here. Um, I don't like looking at the green, the satellite view. I like the map view. And so um, I'll go ahead and draw a border to avoid that main street there. Let me see. And boom. 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 There we go. All right. So um, you see it here. So I'll go from high to low on the years. You can see it. Yep. Okay. So we got, dang, we got a, I mean, there's a lot of low sales there. I don't, I don't, I don't know how I feel about that 205. Uh, no, I don't feel anything about that. <laughs> so there's a, there's a 105 down there. What do you think of that? Uh, it was built in 2003. 2003, okay. So that's yeah. qualified. Yeah. And then there was a 2001 that sold for cash for 35000 So these right. low numbers are going to be your drop or whatever. So I see a 95 cash. I see a 83 cash. Um, the 83 cash was in 1946. The lot side is 48.35. Hours is 59.24. Square footage of the house on this 83.5 cash is 11.67. And uh, our square footage is 14.51. Right. All right. Now that 95 cash, it was built yep. in 73. So it's all over the board here, man. So this is a good one. This is a good one. So we can try to figure out because these that this happened. A lot of activity though, which is a good thing. Yep. Right. Yep. So let me. I think go. we're going to be north of we're going to be north of that eighty three, right? Because we we we're larger than that, but we're everything is very close other than that, right? So mm -hmm. so I would say that I feel safe at like calling this. 87 grand because I'd want to go halfway between the 95 and the 83.5. The 95 we disqualify because it's a 73 build, but it's a good benchmark for us to use as a like, okay, this is an upper limit. Um, and uh, and so I think it's got to fall somewhere in the middle. Okay. All right. Uh, so we'll get out of here and um, see what else we got. You want to try it again? See what you. Um, yeah. Yeah. Let's try that. Right now. Yeah, yo, there we go. All right, so let me see what else we got here, baby boy. All right, so um, we're gonna go to St. Louis. I'm sorry, St. Uh, how do you say that? I can't see. Oh, you can't see it. I'm sorry. 307 North Van Burn, North Van Buren Street, Versailles, Versailles, Versailles. Versailles, V E R S A I L L E S. Yep, Versailles. Yeah. Versailles, Missouri. Versailles was in France. Oh, okay. There you go. We got a big castle out there. Can you uh, see? You can see my screen good right now? Uh, yes, sir. All right. You just need to blow up your um, um, the entire window, the, the browser. You need to, you know, blow it up to your entire window. Think over to the left. Hey. Yeah, there you go. Boom. Hey, all right. So what we got here, guys, is come on. All right. What we got here is a three bed, two bath, 2147 square footer. It is for sale by owner. Now it's been on Zillow for 31 days. So right off the hop, these are the these are the conclusions I'm starting to draw. 425 is too high. A for sale by you, for 31 days does not last. Yeah, can't hear you. Oh, you can't hear me? Dang. What happened? Whoa. You can hear me now? Still can't hear you. Still can't hear me. Nothing. Nothing. Anything? Nope. 
Still can't hear you. I'm gonna leave and come back. I'm gonna leave. Yeah, um, go out, go out and come back in. Okay. Okay. So um, I pulled it up here in uh, prop stream also, aka Digulator. All right. So um, see how many comps we have with this? So we don't have any comps on this property from what I'm pulling up. Maybe when Jamil comes back on, we can. Um, um, I didn't pull up any comps on it, Jamil. Hello? Yeah. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? I don't Hello? Know. What's going on? Hello? 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 Where did my mic go? I have a mic. This is nuts. Yeah, I still can't hear you. Um, let me see here. See if I can do anything on my end. No, you can you can hear me? Yes or no? Hey. I hear you. Okay, you can hear me. Oh wow. Okay. Um, how about that? Can you hear me? Ooh. Can you hear me? Anything? No, nothing. Let me see. Uh, anything? Can you hear me? Still can't hear you. No. Um, we can, they, they can hear me. They hear, they hear us both. You can't hear me. Um, I guess, um, trying to see, um, <laughs> I'll, I'll try hit your, uh, I guess you've already hit your volume to see yeah. all the way up or, okay. Yes. Yeah, all the way up. Um, and, and they say they can hear me, Ty, but they can't hear you. Oh no, they hear us both. Uh, I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, might want to type something in the private chat. What what do you say? Okay. Um uh, bear with this guy. We're gonna try to figure this out. We apologize. Uh oh, they can't hear both of us. Oh wow. I, I guess I just can't hear you. I can't hear you. Okay, whatever, but we can, we need to communicate, so I guess we're going to try to figure it out. All right, so let me give you the next address. So if they can hear you, that's fine. You know, I guess you and I, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll type the uh, private message. Okay, so all right, so let's go to the next one here. Uh, well, no, we didn't do this one. Uh, 307 North Van Buren Street. So just type in the private message when you're ready for me to, to show another one. I'm going to give you another one. All right. Oh, man. This is tough. Let me go out and come back. Yes, I can see your screen. But what bill am I in? You, I, anyway. Yeah, we can see your screen. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to just turn this down. Okay, all right, cool. And then it will have a bit of an echo, but at least we can hear each other. All right. And can you just check with everybody that they can hear us both still? Uh, can you all hear, hear us both? Please let us know in the comments if you can hear us both. Yeah, they said they can hear us both. I can't hear you on, on, my, on your cell phone. Okay, I hear you now.
We got a 532924 square footer that sold for what did it say here? 125. So I mean, man, maybe that is a deal. Jamil. Yes. I was the problem. <laughs> I had my mute on on my laptop. <laughs> <laughs> you guys saw some fun stuff today. <laughs> yeah, well, what, what, what was the final conclusion on that one, man? I think that was a deal, bro. There's not a lot of um, there's not a lot of comps out there, honestly. Um, um, there were there were very few comps, but I think I saw like 125. Okay. Um, I think that's I think that's what it will sell. I think that's the ARV on that. So I I mean I think that's a deal. I, I think you could, you probably have some room to get it cheaper because. I mean, for legit, that thing's been on the market for 30 days and no one snapped it up. So I think I think go in, try to get that under contract for about 10,000, maybe 15,000 less than what it's listed at and uh, and and give it a whirl. All right, boom. All right. So um let's go to um let's go to California. Mm -mm. California love. Oh, I'm back to Cali. All right, so 959 Winsford Court. 959. Yeah, Winsford Court. San Ramon. Ramon. San, San Ramon. San Ramon. San Ramon, five bedrooms, six bathrooms, 5,312 square footer. Zillow has it estimated at $2,498,000. Two big ones. Whew. Ooh. Man, first of all, I just want to say off the hop, wholesaling houses in this price bracket, brain damage. <laughs> so I mean you gotta you gotta understand that you know there are gonna be like a couple of buyers that are gonna are even gonna mess around with something like this so it better be a deal yeah. uh, so we got here's a you know ours uh, ours it's estimated at two five we've got the neighbor sold it's about 500 square feet larger just sold for 2.6. Now let's look at what this looks like inside. You know, basically Tony Montana's house, right? <laughs> would you would would you want Tony? The world and everything in it. No, <laughs> that was a bad Pacino. But um I I mean I, I think that the ARV and this is probably 2.5. I think that that's there's not there's not a lot of activity going on around here you know if you can see this is like mansionville um but that neighboring comp that na that neighbor is probably as, as good as it's going to get for a comp um what you can also see is this like they're so custom here right there's they're so custom every house is going to be completely completely customized and the renovations that are going to happen in this type of property are going to be just off the wall um, very specific buyer, very specific clientele, very difficult to wholesale. But if I was you, I'd be looking at picking that up at about 70% of 2.5 million. So basically about um, like 1.7 and some change maybe. Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. So uh, let's go to Texas. Um, of course, it's a uh, non-disclosure state, so you know what that means. I'll prop stream it. Yeah. So um, six two two six, Abington Way. I guess that's how that's pronounced. All right. So let me pull it up here. Six 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 two two six. Can I, I'll answer a quick question for Renee Jones? Oh yeah, go ahead. Hi, Ty and Jamil. When doing comps, what happens when you don't have exact comps that fit the exact bed and bath? So, Renee, if, uh, I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but if you do follow me on Instagram, I put some appraisal rules 
on my page. I'll send them to Ty and maybe he can post them too on his Instagram. Um, but yes, you, you have to follow some specific rules when you don't have exacts. There's very, very few are you going to find exact comps, right? But you can only compare houses that are within 200 square feet of each other. You have to compare the same property type. So if it's a single bed or a single story, you need to compare it with another single story. Um, you want to stay within the same subdivision. You don't want to cross any major roads. So you want to find something as similar in that lot size should be similar as well. But there's, you know, all those things have to really line up in order for you to be able to use it as a comp. All right, boom. All right, so um, let's dive into this one here. Um, all right, so Aventon Way. Okay, so we got a lot of comps in here. All right, so let me blow this up a little bit. Well, no, I don't. Okay, I can just stay right here in this boundary. Boom. If you see what Ty is doing right now, he's just he's he's not crossing any major streets, right? Yeah. He's like he's staying right in that little tight little spot yeah. uh, because that's what an appraiser is going to do. Mm -hmm. All right, so boom, and you can see, guys, if I blow it up, that's what it looks like. I see how the what the darker, uh, the thicker white lines are the major streets. So we tried to stay within that or whatever. Really, I probably could have even made it a little tighter, couldn't I? Um, I, I mean, I think Jester Boulevard would have been my cutoff, but that's okay. You don't have any comps in between in that canal area, so I, I don't think it matters where your thing was drawn. All right, so let's go from high to low. I mean, from low to high. So 1955, 1960. We've got a lot of 1960s here, so all of these are in play from one through six. Yep. So we got an actual 1955. Uh, the lot is similar. Uh, square footage a little bigger on the house for 440. All right. Yeah, we got a 461 right underneath it, but that's smaller. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that that starts to tell me that maybe we can creep up a bit now, right? We got a 461, we had a 440. Uh, the 461 though is is what's this at 624? Uh, yeah, that's a 1960. Lot is smaller, house just a little bit bigger, so that's a trade off, I guess. Yep. So 624. Mm. All right. Um, what about that 576? The uh, lot is a little smaller, house a little bigger, trade off. So what, what are we thinking here? Yeah. I think that Worcester Lane, can we get to that one? Can you open that one up, number four? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Let's look at it. All right. Let me come out of this and go to that one. Alan, what ha you know, what Alan's question was, should you stay within a half mile or is a mile acceptable? Alan, um, a mile is absolutely not going to work. You, so much happens in a mile. When I walk out a mile of my house, this way, that way, this way, that way, I pass through mansions. I pass by crack houses. I pass by... Commercial, industrial, I mean, like, a mile is 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 way, 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 way too much to go out. I think a half mile, but, Alan, honestly, you want to stay within the same subdivision. It was MLS listed, so um, let me let me just – we'll just go to Zillow, see if there are any pictures. Okay. Um, want me to try? Uh, yeah, you can pull it up on your end while I try to see here. 6414 Worcester Lane. Yeah, it was well. No. Can you see my screen? Uh, let me share it. Uh, What's the address again? Uh, the address is uh, 6414 Worcester Lane. Houston. Houston. Did I say that I absolutely love Houston? Have I told you that? I've never. You know, uh, have I been? Well, you can't count when you're going through an airport. I've never been to Houston before. I've been to Dallas before. I've never been to Houston. Um, no picks. Yeah. So, but but it was a listed property. Let me see what what happened with it, as far as um, 
Was it a flipper? Let me see. The, well, I won't probably be able to see that because it's not a disclosure. But uh, they bought it back in um, 2013. So they were living there, right? And and they sold it to whoever the new owners in, in, in 19, November of 19. So there are no pictures. So what, what, what are you thinking on that one? I'm going to guess that that was a highly um, updated property. Maintained, yeah. Yeah. And so I'm going to say that's probably going to be the high comp. It's a little tough in these non-disclosure spots, guys, but you know, the best we've got is is um, prop stream for that. Yeah. And, um, you know, based off the information we have, I'm assuming that the high comp there is 600. What was that? 640, you said? 624. 624. So I'm going to say, well, let's call it a 600 ARV. So, you know, what's 70% of that? Uh, a 624? Yep. Yeah. Um, Four thirty-six. Eight. That's where I want to be. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, so what else we got here? Uh, Ramon Vasquez says there's no way I live near crack houses. So Ty, you've been to my house. I got a nice house, but I can tell you that a mile away, less than a mile away, there is crack. Yeah, yeah, that that can happen. At at, at, at some point, the neighborhood's got to cross over. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, and depending on um, where 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 you are, it could be even less than that. Yeah. I, I can think about it. It's a neighbor, and anybody that's watching this from in Birmingham, Woodlawn. All I have to say is two words, or two name of neighborhoods: Woodlawn and Crestwood. You're talking about a twenty yards, and it goes from sixty thousand dollars to four hundred thousand dollars. You know, easily. You know, so, and obviously in the sixty thousand, well, not obviously, but in the sixty thousand dollar neighborhood, a few things might happen over there you might not want to get involved in or whatever. So, uh, that, that's that's real estate. You know, it can be it can be it can transition just that quickly. And like places in Baltimore with all those row houses, it's literally block by block. You mm -hmm. can have a row uh, a bunch of houses just vacant, and then on the block, oh, they sell it for two three hundred thousand dollars. You know, just it's the way it is. So, but but that's why you have to dig into the numbers and get as close as possible to that. You know what's going on. That's why when you say a mile, eh, they'll do it, but they don't want to do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you say, that an appraiser would rather go back in years yeah. than increase the distance. For sure, for sure. Yeah, go back in time. So, all right. So let's see what else we got. Uh, <laughs> Robert Dunn's trying to get your attention. <laughs> who? who? Robert Dunn. Oh, let, let's do Robert. Got dog, Robert. Robert. Yeah, baby. Uh, Robert. We, we, Robert. Uh, what, what is that? In, in, in uh, Georgia, Water Warren, Robert, Georgia? Okay. 108 Arlington Place, Warner Robbins. <laughs> Wait, so I posted a lot of times. Oh, my God. Yeah, he did, didn't he? Oh, he went crazy. <laughs> he wanted to let me see my screen. Yeah, I got you. All right. Boom. So, what's that address? Uh, one zero eight Arlington Place. One zero eight Arlington Place. Arlington Place, and then wh where? Uh, Warner Robbins. Warner Robbins, Georgia. So we don't know how many beds, but it's three baths. Zillow has it estimated at two hundred and fifty-one thousand dollars. Oh, not a lot of detail and not a lot of information, but this is a nineteen eighty-three built on 0.7 acres, sold in ninety-one for one fifty. Mm. All right, let's see what we got. I only show two comps, but it's pretty strong comps. What I'm showing. So Zillow did the did me dirty again, so I gotta go back and see if I can find which one this house is. Save it, baby, save it. There we go. So here we go. We're we're backing some this looks like power lines over here. So I just would like to say, guys, when you back power lines, that's a thing. 
That's a thing that people absolutely despise. And the reason for not liking backing power lines is there's some folks who believe these conduits of electricity and uh, the creators of industry and, and, and illumination for all of us cause cancer. And so it's and it's a real thing. I've not, not that it causes cancer, but that people uh, on the retail side don't want to buy it because of that. And so just something to keep in mind. Um, this is basically like backing. Not well, I'd say it's about as bad as backing a freeway. Just saying. Right. So I would prefer to use comps that are also backing the power line. Right. But but let's look around here. So we got a. 2,700 square footer. Here we got a 2,700 square footer, four three, four two and a half. This was sold in 2020, and this appears to be updated. I mean, it's a little, it's a little hodgepodgey of an update, but there, an appraiser is going to call that an updated house. We got granite countertops. We've got renovated bathrooms. We have. Um, yeah, you know, hardwood floors, all the fixings for uh, for a for a renovated home, uh, and this is uh, on a very similar size lot uh, within about five years of construction, and this sold for what was it three hundred and ten, and that's about as high as it gets here, and so looking at this three hundred and ten. Is going to be the high comp. Uh, that's going to that's going to be what I think is going to be the the maximum ARV you got there. Um, now, knowing Georgia, as I do, uh, I believe who 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 did we who did we Robert? This is Robert Duns. Yeah, Rob. Roll Rob. He says he has it under contract at one forty five. Mm -hmm. I think that's a deal. Okay. All right, let's go to New York. Um, 17 Pearson Street. All right. New York, that's where I'll be next week. That's next week. In New York. Concrete jungle. Man, New, you know what? New York, we can't have a regular meetup. You know that? I figured. I figured as such. So what we're having is a financial freedom rally. So you're going to be outside? Yep. And we have to have signs that say, stop oppressing us. We want in the 1%. <laughs> and mm -hmm. then we can be able to do what we do. Liars. So, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Let me share my screen, bro. All right. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, what's the address? Uh, seventeen uh, Person Street. I said Pearson Person Street. P E R S O N. In Buffalo. Hi. The next time you come to town, I I found what could be. Oh, you don't eat meat, bro. Mm. Dang it. <laughs> I'm gonna. I think I found the best chicken wing spot in all of Arizona. Oh, really? But why would you care? But maybe they got no. It's it's actually called Just Wings, so they're not even gonna have any seafood for you. They got French fries. They do. <laughs> they got curly fries, bro. Uh, <laughs> they're good. All right. So here we go. There's some there's some sales here. It's nine bedroom, two and a half baths. I mean, first of all, let's just Ooh. talk about this. What nine is? bedroom, two and a half baths. Is this the multifamily? Uh, yes, yeah, a duplex. It's a duplex. Okay. Yeah. So each side. Ugh, so each side is gonna have what? Four bedrooms and one and a half bath. One bath, maybe. Right. Yeah. Oh man, that's how I felt on the boat. How you got that many people locked up in a place that doesn't have that enough bathrooms for everyone? <laughs> Did you kiss the ground? Kiss the ground whenever you made it back, bro. I'm telling you, I like my house. I like Arizona. <sighs> All 
always a struggle with Zillow. Always, you know, to just make me fight for it, you know? Mm. Okay, so that's too small. Right over here, got a three bed, one bath, 2,000 square foot. Not a lot. I can't find a lot of multi occupancy comps here. I only find one um, that's uh, an actual duplex, also. And which one is that? Uh, 1204 Broad Broadway Street. 1204 Broadway Street. Mm -hmm. And what did that sell for, Ty? 25000 cash back in uh, July. How many square feet is it? 34, 63. I mean, that's that's the one. We're, we got to use that. Yeah. We got to use that. That's what you want to be buying that for. Yeah. She wants 16K, Shirley says. So, Shirley, here's what you do. Go give that lady 16. Go find the person who paid 25 and sell it to them. Someone bought a foreclosure back in... Um um december of 18 for 18k some of the properties a little smaller i, I think 16 is probably decent right mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. sure i'd say get to it Ch chickity chop 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 Make it that up. contract you might have some money there Make it needs a major oh foundation let's go to uh Chester. Chester. she said she said the foundation and the roof are are shot oh I don't know if you can get that cheap enough. I don't know that you can. The foundation <laughs> for the roof, Charlay, the roof, no, but you know, that's doable. Foundations can cost you like thirty to fifty thousand. You might even have to demolish that whole structure, mm -hmm. dig up the foundation, and then pour uh, put new footings and pour new concrete, pour new foundation. Like it's that could be a mess. You might have she might have to give that property away. Like yeah. no joke. You know, what I would do, Charlay, could you mind if I just uh, give a little tip here? What I would do, I would option that property. I wouldn't put it under a purchase contract. I would option that property from that seller. I'd say, give me an option at 10 grand and let me go shop this to the market and see what I can bring you. With this, with this foundation problem, it's going to be a tough one. All right. Uh, let's let's uh, go with Justin Valentine. In Virginia, uh, 704 uh, Johnstown Road, Chesapeake, I think that's how they said Virginia. Chesapeake, Chesapeake. 704 Johnston Road, Chesapeake. Yeah. Okay, let me share my screen. Seven oh four was it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chesapeake. Three bed, one bath, fifteen twenty six square feet. Zillow has its estimated at two hundred and seventy four thousand one ninety. We have a what? We have a house. I've never seen a house built in the 1700s, Ty. Oh, wow. I've never seen this in my life. Let me see. Where do you see that? Right here. You're built. 1799. Oh, wow. Okay. 1799. It's not coming up in my list of times. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. The founding fathers were living there. 0 0.48 acres. Oh. Jeez, man. I've never seen a house built in the 1700s before. I, I it's like I feel like this is like this is like a, a European property or something. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Interesting. All right. <clears throat> so I gotta go back because Zillow stole my my heart.
There we go. You don't want to cross over Johnston to the. I right. want to cross over Johnston. So what's over here? This is larger. I'm just trying to see if there's if there's like there's continuity here. Like we, this is a 1949 build. This is like you know, 200 years later. <laughs> I can't even believe I just said that. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, our subject park property is built in 26, right? 1799. Wait a minute. What are you Am I looking at the same thing? You showing 1799 for it? 704 Johnson Road. No, -uh. uh, well, J O H N S T O W N. Let me see. Yeah. Yep. Yes, I'm throwing something different. Okay. 704, right? Yeah. Let's let's look at your 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 info because my my Zillow believes this was built in 1799. All right. Yeah, I'm showing 26. That's uh, a lot better. Okay, so I've already um just to look at it, I've already highlighted um and I still may have crossed the road. I think we're good. All right. So um, I don't see anything close to 26, 1926. The next uh, closest is in the 60s. Um, all of these have fairly decent sized plots. Ours is 20,000, almost 21,000. And so we can go from there. So when I'm looking at something like this, Ty, here's my thoughts, right? Mm -hmm. We've got such a discrepancy in, in your build, like 40 years, basically, 40, 50 years of discrepancies here. So that this property type is is incomparable. You're not going to find a comparable that's going to that's going to really please a lot of buyers. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to for me, I'm going to look at the lowest sale that's happened. Okay. And I'm going to call that my max. All right, so the low, if I go from high, from low to high with the sales, um, then it's 229. And then I would want to buy that at my discount for, um, you know, for property. Now, Chesapeake, I don't know the population at Chesapeake, Virginia, but I'm going to imagine it's one of them, um, you know, n not, I mean, there were some pretty decent, pretty decent comps there with that, with that. Population is 242,000. Okay, so it's a small town, smaller. We've got a house built, you know, way back when. I'd say you want to be at like forty percent of ARV on that. So I would take forty percent of two twenty nine, and that's where I'd want to be. Now the metro population is one point six. Okay, but I still think you don't want to be. You don't even want to be at fifty percent of ARV on something like that, just because it's just built so long ago. So long ago. Yeah. You're going to need to do everything. You're going to do the plumbing, the electrical, the roof, maybe some, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. what aren't you going to fix in a house built in 1926, Ty? Everything, unless they've already done it, but yeah, everything. Yeah, so I'm, I'm saying that, you know, take 40% of that 229. I'll do the math here real quick. Oh, 40%? Yeah. Yeah, that's going to probably be almost 100 grand off, isn't it? Yeah, you want to be buying that thing like 95. Maybe 100. Maybe you can go up to 100, but that's about it. That's where I'd stay. Yeah, let's see what else we got here. Right, let's go to Philly. I'm going to Philly. Boom. All right, uh, 1441 Stevens Street. Want to give me a share? There we go. 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 One Stephen Street. One four one Stephen Street. Read the uh, address. One four four one Stevens Street. S T E V E N S. And uh, where is it? Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Okay. Here we got a for sale by. Okay. Look, I just wanna, I just wanna discuss 
the 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 key things that you should be taking away right off the hop when you look at something like this, right? Is this a row house? It's a row house. Mm -hmm. Three bed, one bath, 970 square foot. Zillow's estimates at 130. For, for already for sale by owner, but look at how many days, Ty. How many? 437 days. <laughs> There's a public health advisory on it. Oh, that's just probably from the COVID. Um, built in 50. Let's see what else we can see. <clears throat> Here we go. So it's small, 970 square feet. Yeah, I have an exact comp at uh, 1439 that sold back in January for 110. You see that one? For 110? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Same year, same square footage, the same lot size. And in and, and 19, we had a 31970 sold for 125. Mm, okay. So, you know, that, that gives you a little bit of, a little bit of, of hope there for a you know that you could push up to that but what else have we got yeah i just stay within that block between um Devereaux, i think that's how it's pronounced and stevens you got a 115 so that you know that th this this one this ranges from like 110 to 125 on the arv so you know and i know that in in philly they're buying at like 60 percent so <clears throat> that's where I think you need to be, 60% of like 120. All right. So boom. All right. Here we go. Yeah. Let's go to uh, Columbia, South Carolina. South Carolina. Challenge 4301 Pine Forest Drive. 4301 Pine Forest Drive. You want to share me? Yeah. 4301 Pine Forest Drive. Pine Forest. Pre foreclosure, seven bedroom, five bathroom, forty six hundred and seventeen square foot house, massive home. Yeah, massive. It's, so, it's so big. It just you got to go down the square footage. Damn. Pull anything. I, I went down to two thousand square feet and pulled a couple of comps. You know, near it. You know, that's a huge house. So I would just pick the highest comp you can find near and you know closest to it. I got that one on Highland. That's a that's a one forty. Mm -hmm. What did you see? Well, I I had to go all the way down to fifteen hundred square feet to even pull anything. I know we don't really want to do that, but it, you definitely go with smaller. The highest I'm showing is one thirty nine nine. That's where I think. That, I mean. Look, this is such a big house. I think you could probably say the ARV is going to be 150 because because an appraiser would give it some additional value from what has been has been done there. But that 4141 Highland Park is going to be your best bet. I'd say 150 ARV. Um, you know, you probably want to be about half of that. So 75 would be where I'd want to I'd want to offer. All right. Um, let's see here. Uh, we're gonna do uh, one more here. All right. Um, let's go back to uh, California. Uh, going, going back, back to Cali, Cali. So we'll say one five two two five Oak Ridge Road. Right. 
Share me whenever you can. 15225 Oak Ridge. The Oak Ridge Road, yo. Sorry, what's that, that address again? 15225 Oak Ridge Road. I don't feel like that's a good address for my, on my end. You want to you want to try? Yeah, let me see what I got here. Um, I think that's a bad address. I don't pull anything either. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's do one more here. Uh, let me see what we got. What we got. All right. Uh, Let's go to Atlanta. All right, so we got 1015 Sims Street, Southwest. Okay. 1015 Sims Street. A friend of mine passed away last night, Ty. Oh really? Well, what 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 happened? Yeah, guy, man, I'm pretty sure it was a it was a heart attack. How old how were they? Like 42. Oh wow! I know. Terrible. Sad. Hard to hear that, man. Oof. 1015 Sim Street, Southwest Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Three bed, two bath, 1150 square footer for sale by owner. For one forty-five, it's been on Zillow for eighteen days. Now it was uh, it was listed on uh, MLS for four hundred and thirteen days for one thirty-nine. Didn't sell. Didn't sell. Yeah. So let's 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 look at what we got here, though. Okay, house need in the in the description. Mm -hmm. House needs full renovation. Everything they're saying estimate forty-five to sixty-five k. I mean, like I'd stay on the sixty-five range of that even more. Look at this house; it's like. It's trash. Um, owner spent ten thousand cash to cut down all the trees, remove drywall and carpet before getting ready to remodel. But they want three thousand dollars EMD in a ten day close. Sounds like a wholesaler to me. Sounds like one to me too. Um, looking at all this, all these shenanigans, we have no idea what this guy bought this for. Well, hold on. Maybe we do. Let's see. Well, that was a cash sale back in um, 2018 for 99. Somebody paid for there it. There we go. Somebody paid 99 for it. Yeah. This guy's trying to get out of this deal is what's happening. Mm -hmm. Right. So, um, but let's look at what the ARV is. Let's see what this guy saw when he bought it. Yeah. So. He probably saw that 369 at 225, 264, but he was, you know, those don't line up. Got another 255 in there, 168. Hmm. I think he's just a block or two away from what activity is that is the problem. Here's the here's what I here's one I like, right? This three two eleven fifty eight. How many square feet is ours? Nine fifty two. Nine fifty two. So you know we're close enough. But look at this remodel here, right? Yeah. Has on. Uh, can you see my screen? Yeah, I'm saying. Well, what's let me see. What's it on Hubbard? This sold at two thirty. Uh, Hubbard. Okay. And this was a full remodel, has a garage, all of that. So, I mean, based on the size, I'm going to say you probably got a 220 ARV there. And, and, and given its condition, I think the house could probably sell for around 110. But it's a wholesaler, so I'd first of all, I'd be really careful about contracting that deal. 
I'd want to tell the, the seller, hey, look, why don't you let me give you an option on this and see if I can go out and bring you a buyer. Uh, I don't think they're going to get 140. I don't think they're going to get 139. I don't think they're going to get 130. They sat on the MLS for a year at that number. Nothing happened. So I, you know, I think this house trades somewhere around 120, and I think ARV on that thing, so probably somewhere around 220, 225. Boom. All right, guys, we're about an hour in. Got a little audio issues on my end, just simply. And technicals on mine. Which <laughs> today. Today. Mute, <laughs> unmute. I mean. <laughs> but anyway, so before we get out of here, we got a couple of sponsors that want to. Tell you some very, very important news. Uh, so let's get those guys a look and see what they're talking about. I'm Jamil Dambi, and I was looking for fast flipping all over the internet. I could not find this man to save my life. I was tracking him down, and then I figured out I could skip trace him. Where did I skip trace him at? Skip to flip.com. Skip to flip.com. What do you want to tell? He overpaid. <laughs> you don't have to overpay by simply using a code flip man. Use code flip man, guys. 15 cent split skips. Skip to flip.com. Boom. Hey, that's what's up. <laughs> what so, kind of camera you got there, Ty? Uh, it's a Sony. What is the box? box is on? Something, something. <laughs> <laughs> your voice is smooth and your picture is. <laughs> like life. Oh yeah, hey, hey, they hooked me up. A little expensive for hey, more than what I intended to spend when I walked in the Best Buy. But hey, okay. nothing but the best for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Ty, we love you, bro. All right, man. Uh, so we. Uh, what day are you gonna be in New York? We're gonna be in New York uh, next week. Uh, we get in on Wednesday night. Okay, so uh, show may not happen. May happen. We'll we'll, we'll figure it out. On uh, Thursday, I'm still well. Yes. Uh, well, we won't promise anything. We'll see. We'll, we'll try. See. Yeah, we'll try. All right, guys. But uh, thank you, Jamil, for sharing and giving us your time. And uh, as we like to always say, we will see you guys on the flip side. Flip man, flip man. It's the flip man. Flip man, flip man. You want some money in your hand? In your hand. Flipping houses without credit or your cash.